Sue Minter is the Democratic nominee for governor, and on the Republican side, Phil Scott claimed the nomination. He joins us live this morning from our Montpelier Bureau. Congratulations. Well, thank you very much, Gina. Looking forward to November, why should voters pick you instead of Sue Minter? Well, I think the message that we've been uh, t speaking about throughout this campaign is resonating. It's about the economy, making Vermont more affordable, and restoring faith and trust in, in government. Uh, I think that that's very important uh, throughout this nation and in Vermont as well. Now, Bruce Lisman did raise some ethical questions about you during the race, like if you should be running your construction business, which conducts business with the state. Those questions are going to follow you into the general election. How are you going to make sure that Vermonters can trust you? Well, certainly, I've built my whole career. I've lived my whole life here in Vermont, uh, built my reputation on faith and trust. Uh, really, uh, uh, I value my reputation. So uh, I'll make sure that uh, Vermonters are, are quite secure with that. Uh, they have questions, and, and that's okay. And uh, I'll answer any questions they have. So uh, it's incumbent upon me to, to get out there, see people like I've been doing, and continue to do so. Do you think you can bring those Listman supporters over to your side? It was a bitter primary. Well, it was a bitter primary. Uh, unfortunately, it took a tone uh, for the worse. Uh, but, but at this point in time, uh, I'm hoping that we can pull together and understand that uh, Vermont is what's important. Our kids are important. I believe the economy is, is really uh, the focus point of this election. And it's something that I've been uh, working on for the past number of years. And I think it needs more attention. And, uh, and I'm, I believe we can pull everyone together and, uh, and make sure that we're, we're pulling in the same direction. All right, and your new opponent now, Sue Minter, she wants more gun control in Vermont. And you've said that no changes are necessary. Why? Well, I think that uh, really the focus uh, of what we should be doing in this state is about the economy, and, and I can't stress that enough. Uh, every time I go out uh, to talk with people, the common theme is uh, that they're struggling to make ends meet. They're working two and three jobs, just not being able to pay their property taxes, not being able to make their mortgage payments, their rent payments, and so forth. So the economy is what the, the focus should be. Uh, and I believe our gun, should, gun laws should be enforced, and I, I believe they're adequate. Yeah, you've been advocating that state government needs to become more efficient. Name something that you would do to cut costs. Well, certainly, there's a, a number of different areas. I believe it's a culture change throughout state government, modernization of IT, and I, I believe that we need to look at uh, areas like Medicaid. Uh, Medicaid, uh, over the last seven years, the administration made it, administrative costs have grown from 130 or 30 million to 130 million, grown by 100 million dollars. There's an area that we should take a look at. Now, what about Vermont Health Connect? Do you think the state should pull the plug on it? And if so, what's the alternative? As you know, going to the federal exchange could cost millions of dollars. Well, we're wasting millions of dollars every day on uh, what we have right now. I believe that we should uh, pull the plug and transition to something else. It could be the federal exchange. It could be uh, another state. Uh, I've looked at Connecticut. Uh, there's also Hawaii, Oregon, many other states that face the same challenges. And I believe that we can learn from them and uh, possibly uh, work together in a Northeast co coalition of some sort where we can share resources and actually save maintenance costs over time. So I, I look at operating costs, what this is going to cost us, what's it costing us today, and what it will cost in the future as well. All right, Republican nominee Phil Scott, congratulations, and thank you again for joining us this morning. Well, thank you very much for having me on. All right, well, up next, Gary will be here with a look at the weather for the week ahead.